welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Kay. You might know me from my Instagram at Mrs. Rachel Krause. And today we are doing a grocery haul in Meijer. So we are here in Michigan. This is the first time I've ever heard of this store. Um, I'm not quite sure like what the home brand is because it's not Kroger, but it's something similar. I'm sure you guys can let me know in the comments below, but we are going to be doing a massive grocery haul and it's a little windy and stormy out as you can see by my hair. So we're gonna run inside. If you guys like this kind of content, go ahead and smash that like button below so that I know that you like it. Subscribe and turn on your bell notifications so that you never miss another time that I post. I post every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday on my channel. Mostly motherhood and lifestyle type of stuff and grocery hauls every Thursday. And comment down below what your must have is every time you go grocery shopping. The thing you can't leave the store without. Okay, let's get started. We are here with grandma, which if you guys have been watching my latest vlogs and my grocery hauls, you know grandma, this is Derek's mom. We just call her grandma because of that little guy in the cart. And we've been grocery shopping with her, which has been so fun. I just posted my meal planning video for you guys, which you guys asked for on my Instagram. I showed you exactly how I meal plan. So I've got my little list here. It's not little, it's kind of big, but this is what we are shopping off of. Do you want to hold the list? Thank you. That's so nice. Good job. Ah, you faker. We are coming down the diapers and wipes because I have literally three wipes, not three packages, three individual wipes left. So I need to get Logie Bear some wipes. I'm looking in here to see if they have the brand we use. And they do, right here, these water wipes. Ooh, actually I like the green ones better because they're textured, so. You need a bunch of wipes when you have a baby, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like we're always buying wipes but they're a good thing to keep on hand. I think even after I have all of our future kids out of diapers, I think I will still always keep a pack of wipes on me. They are so useful. <laughs> Grandma picked up that bag of tortilla chips right there and we are headed in to the dairy and butter section because I need some vegan butter, especially for this guy and his mac and cheese. Okay, I never see it this cheap. We always get the Earth Balance organic one and it is on sale for $2.99. It's usually $5.99. At least at this store, it's usually $4.09, but I've never seen it that cheap either. So I'm gonna grab two of them because I know we'll go through them. I use it in his mac and cheese, on his waffles, in all kinds of like baking goods. We've got two of those in there now. Grab some cottage cheese for grandpa and we are writing down on the list, grandpa needs some cheese. So this is the great part about bringing a pen. Grandma supplied me with the pen today, but you can always make adjustments to your list. Grabbing some Pepsi for the guys. They love Pepsi. We are back in the sour cream again because we forgot to pick up sour cream. We already picked up cottage cheese over here, but grandma's gonna grab the sour cream that they like to get and throw it right in the cart. Grandpa and daddy also requested some true moo. So grandma is gonna grab some true moo. How much is it here? 519. Yeah. 519. There we go. I need some cans of kidney beans this week for like chili mac and stuff like that. So we are going to grab a couple of cans of kidney beans and we're gonna throw these into the cart. And then I think I need one more can of beans. Hang on. I need one more can of kidney beans and then a can of white beans. So that doesn't necessarily matter what kind. I'll just grab some great Northern beans down here and that will be perfect. These are 59 cents a can. Grandma is over here grabbing her favorite barbecue sauce. She loves the Sweet Baby Ray's Honey Barbecue. How much was that, Grandma? $3.99. $3.99 for this bottle. And she swears by it. She says she absolutely loves it. So you guys might need to try that. I am in need of some vegan mayo. So it looks like I just have a couple of options here, but at least there are some options. So it's the Hellman's, which says it has modified GMO or something like that. So I'm not gonna go for that. I'm gonna go right next door to the Sir Kensington's Classic Vegan Mayo, which has some better looking ingredients. So $6.49 for this, and we are gonna, going to be making like some aiolis and stuff like that with this vegan mayo. Also might put it on some sandwiches. So usually taco seasoning sometimes has some kind of wheat or corn in it. This one does not, and it is the store brand for 39 cents. So right up here, I was actually about to grab this gluten-free one for $1.39 but the store brand does fine. So we're grabbing a few of these at 39 cents a piece. I think that's a great deal. Is this enough? Oh yeah, I think, yeah, for now. <laughs> oh, well, yes, so we are looking for apple cider vinegar with the mother. We're gonna go for the store brand, 3.99, it's organic. That's perfect. Yep. Right down the baking aisle, we need some cornstarch. So I'm gonna grab this one right here, $1.09. And that'll be perfect. Yes, you wanna see it? There you go. Good job. 
we are not in need of any buns this week, but my sister-in-law stocked us up on this brand of bread. She found it egg-free. It's been incredible. It's one of the best gluten-free breads I've ever had. They're out of the buns, actually, it looks like here, but they have bagels, it looks like, which would be so good. They've got white bread. This is like a great brand of gluten-free stuff. It's by the brand Char. We're in the gluten-free section and we need a pizza crust. I'm gonna go with this one because these are the only ingredients down here you can see them. This one next door looks good too. And they also have these pre-made ones by Char, which if you're not sensitive to corn, they have corn in them. But I think those would be great too. I've hardly ever, ever seen a pre-made gluten-free vegan pizza crust, but we're gonna go ahead and grab this one down here. Well, I'm not sure if you guys knew this, but a lot of tomato soups have a bunch of wheat and milk in them. This one does not. So we are gonna grab two of these for one of the recipes we are making this week. It's called four in one. Not sure if any of you guys have ever heard of it. Leave a comment down below if you had, but these are the ingredients in it. Great ingredients, no wheat, no milk. So we need two of these, $3.99 a piece. Sad part is you pay so much more for good products. We're gonna throw these right in here. Grandma is gonna grab some of the taco shells that they like. We're doing a couple things of, you know, taco bowls and stuff like that this week. So then we will be heading down the pasta sauce aisle. I'm making a chicken enchilada soup this week and I need some green chilies for it. So I'm sitting right here in the Mexican food aisle and we're gonna grab two cans of diced green chilies. And I think I'll grab this brand, $1.19 and I gotta grab two of them. Perfect. That'll be perfect for our recipe. Take these down to grandma. I don't hear anything. There we go. They have, I think the smallest little section of enchilada sauces that I've ever seen. I need some green enchilada sauce. So I think I'm gonna go with these two right here. $3.69 a piece, which is crazy expensive for enchilada sauce. We'll take them back to grandma, who's at the end of the aisle here. Hello. Would honey be your baby now? That's what I was thinking. I think we passed right by it. Coming into the cream cheese aisle and I already know that we need some cream cheese. So I'm just gonna grab this one. We've been cooking this with this one and it's been awesome. Oh, you want it? You can hold it. And grandma is looking for her cream cheese as well. Mine was $3.99. It's a vegan gluten-free cream cheese. Hers is on sale for buy one, get one for a dollar. And what's your favorite one? Philadelphia garlic and herb. Ooh, that does sound good. The cream cheese is over here, coming right down into the dairy-free cheese, and they just have a little bit left. So on sale for $3.89, I'm gonna grab a couple bags of these. We like the mozzarella one. I'll just grab the last mozzarella one. And you can freeze these, they freeze great. I am in need of some honey. We don't really use honey a ton in our house and I know grandma does not really use it in their house either. I see this honey here for $2.99 for a small little bare thing of it. So we're gonna go ahead and grab this. Throw it in the cart. Derek has requested some of these no grain sea salt trip uh, tortilla chips from late July. So I'm just gonna grab two bags of them because they're on sale two for four. And I dropped them on the ground. Pick that back up. These will be great for him. He does nachos a lot of days of the week. Coming down the chip aisle and Derek loves these kettle brand barbecue chips. I'm gonna grab him quite a few of these. He can go through several in a week. And they are on sale for buy $7 of salty snacks, get $1.75 off your next shopping trip. So that doesn't really sound like anything to me, but he'll eat them. We're gonna grab these. I think he has grandma wrapped around his little finger. He wanted out, so she <laughs> Yeah, what do we say? Yeah. Logie Bear has been eating frozen waffles pretty much every breakfast, so I am trying to find his waffles that he eats here. So far, I'm not seeing them. He might be striking out on the waffles, because I don't see any gluten-free ones. We came over from the waffles over there, right into the ice cream and you guys know Derek is allergic to dairy but he still eats it so he requested the green mint chocolate chip ice cream for $3.99 because it tastes different because it's green I don't know but we're going with it you can have it okay we came to the chicken nuggets and Derek is looking for some chicken nuggets these are the tenders they're fine um, we all prefer the chicken nuggets but I'll grab these to hold them over and these are $10.99 for a bag this will feed us uh, probably two times between all of us. I need some large carrots. So 
This is the smallest pack I see. You Ooh. go with these guys. Ooh. So I'm right in there. And I know that Derek wants some pepperoni, so I'm gonna go get that started because they will cut it right off for you at the deli. Hi, can I get three quarters of a pound of pepperoni sliced kind of thin? And then can we do a pound of the peppered turkey breast, please? And sliced thin. Okay, I've only ever seen this once before, but they have a grab-and-go freshly sliced meats and cheeses section right here. So in case your store has this, I feel like that would be a great grab-and-go. They're typically always cheaper than the pre-packaged stuff that has like the water in it and stuff, and I don't like those anyways. And they're also usually cheaper than like the ones that they have down here that are already pre-packaged as well. That's non, but if you have it at your store, you know exactly what I'm talking about. They usually will have like the boar's head pepperoni and stuff down here. It's always cheaper to get it cut fresh. We are coming over to the broccoli and grabbing a couple heads of it. I think that one will work, and then let's just grab one more. It's hey. two, two, six, oh, what? This broccoli. Oh. oh, perfect. Then we're not paying for it. Okay, so we are grabbing some broccoli, $1.39 each for the crowns. Do this one will be good. We need a couple of them. This one. And this guy. Yeah. Limes are right over here, so I'm just gonna grab a couple of them. That'll be good. Two limes, you would like to hold them? Okay. Don't bite them, though. There you go. Yeah. grabbing some cilantro. This is 79 cents for this. Hello, crazy boy. He's losing it. So we got the cilantro. Grandma got some frozen corn and I think we're done. I think we're done, Grandma. Are we done? Yay. Oh, dang. Here is our final cart, you guys. We're looking pretty darn good. So on the bottom there, you can see we have the true moo. Oh, he wants to get down and walk. This is like real life, shopping with a baby toddler. We've got two Pepsis on top here. We have three bags of barbecue chips. I know we have a third one. There it is, it's right here. We have some cilantro. We have two bags of the tortilla chips over here. We have some baby wipes all the way down there at the bottom. You can see them right there. Three bags of vegan shredded mozzarella cheese, two limes. We have three cra broccoli crowns right here that I will be cutting up for some dinners. We have some gluten-free chicken tenders some green enchilada sauce. We have the little green chilies down here. We have two things of tomato soup. We have some pepperoni and some turkey breast. We've got some almond flour pizza dough mix. We have some regular tortilla chips, some apple cider vinegar with the mother. We have some cornstarch, sweet baby Ray's honey barbecue sauce. We've got two things of vegan butter down there. We have some cream cheese, some sour cream, and some cottage cheese. We also have some vegan mayo. We have frozen corn, some carrots, some green, specifically green, mint chocolate chip ice cream, uh, some tortillas, five things of taco mix at 39 cents a piece. We have two things of red kidney beans. Actually, we have three things of red kidney beans. And then we have one white bean down here as well, right here, the Great Northern Beans. We have a thing of vegan cream cheese and also some regular garlic and herb cream cheese down there. And I believe that is it in our cart, you guys. Holy cow, that's a big cart. Okay, he's melting down. We are going to go check out, thank you goodness for the most patient grandma ever she has been a lifesaver did you do a good job did you do a good job are you refusing to look <laughs> he's tired and ready for his nap you take the list good I'll, job i'll unload yes i'm telling you guys best grandma ever i don't know how we were filling up the entire cart but our entire hall fits on less than a conveyor belt <laughs> You did a good job packing it in there, Grandma. 
All right, you guys, we are headed out of Meyer, and we spent $164. We got a full cart, so I wouldn't say we did too bad. We've got a lot of fun stuff in there too. Derek will be very happy. So if you guys enjoyed this haul, go ahead and smash that like button below. Subscribe and turn on your bell notifications so that you never miss another time that I post. It looks like it's about to downpour on us, so we gotta go. Make sure that you comment whatever you can't leave the grocery store without, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.